Welcome to another video from Gradelink Websites. In this video, I'll go through how you can log into your Google Workspace admin. So the first step is going to be to go to admin.google.com in your browser. From there, you'll be directed to this login page and you can put in your super admin or administrator login address then click next and put in your password then we click next and from here it's going to sign you into your Google admin dashboard for Google workspace for education here you'll be able to do things such as add users and currently this workspace has a total of 23 active users and two deleted users. If you need to add a new one, you can simply click on add a user. Otherwise, if you wish to view the current users, you can actually click on users and you'll get a complete list of all of the active users. Um, you can also view other information here such as who when the last sign-in was for a particular account. So for example, Amanda Fuentes has not signed in. Neither has any of these other ones. The only one that's signed in uh, is this current account that we're signed into, which it says it's we signed in a minute ago. You can also re use this interface to reset someone's password. So if someone doesn't know their password, or needs it reset to something else, you can hover over their name and click reset, reset password. If they need to change a name, for example, their username, and you can actually change the email address and the first name and last name here. Resetting a password looks something like this. You can either automatically generate a password or you create a password. And you can also check this box to ask the user to change their password when they sign in. Or if you uncheck it, it won't request them to change their password. <clears throat> now for users, it's a bit different. Uh, once you send the username and password to a particular user, you'll want them to log in via gmail.com. So send everybody, one of your users, to gmail.com and it'll prompt them to log in. Now, since we're already logged in here, it's not gonna prompt us to log in. It just takes, takes us straight to the inbox. But typically it will ask them to log in, put in their username and password, and then they'll view this page with their inbox. They'll also be able to access Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Calendar, uh, as well as any of these other things like Google Classroom. Google Classroom is a separate setup, so we won't be covering that in this video. Um, but know that you will have access to it through your Google Workspace account. Going back to the admin panel, you can do other things uh, like update the billing. So if you need to update the billing for any reason, you could do that. However, Google Workspace for Education is typically free if you're an accredited organization, so you shouldn't need to do anything along those lines. Security is all set typically. Um, so the main areas that you'll probably deal with are users, possibly groups if you want to organize your users into groups. For example, we have a group here called Classroom Teachers. Um, and if you this group groups can be created and then you can add people to groups so that they receive emails. So for example, if you want to create admissions at your school domain org or dot com and you want to add all of your admissions users to the group, that means anyone who emails admissions at crossingheritage dot com in this case or case in point that means they that email is going to get distributed automatically to all of the members of that group whoever you've added to that particular group 
Other than that, this is just a brief overview of your Google Workspace admin console and what you can do in there and also how to log in to individual user accounts. For further questions, please contact Gradelink Website Support.